challenges uh, like a main sensor i can divide into into many types and tell uh, physical mental social uh, psychological but i think psychological part is the most most impacting part because uh, financially yes of course i was dependent on my parents for a long amount of time it was impacting my self esteem as well telling that uh, he's been sitting in home for a long amount of time these relatives no see relatives they come and keep asking what happened when you are taking up a job so uh, and for girls it is even worse they, they bring up the topic of marriage as well so it was tough the psychological aspect only was the toughest part for me because lots of close misses lots of ups and downs so i knew that uh, this is not a sprint but like i keep saying in many platforms this is a marathon so this is not to stress out people by telling that it will take a very very long time it may take one attempt it may take two more attempts than that that's, that's not an issue but even for one attempt you have to be dedicated for two years right which is a very long time so we will have to be uh, smart in pacing ourselves just uh, it should not be like one week we are excited we are motivated we study nicely then next week we are down the next week we are distracted it should not be like this so i knew that we had to pace ourselves and i took it one step at a time so for example if i one day i am not feeling good it's okay i won't study that day i'll perhaps reach out to my friends and talk to them for that one day and next day i'll compensate for it so i had this micro planning kind of a approach there was no macro planning for me i tried that also laying out a weekly timetable for the next 6 months telling that at the end of 6 months i'll study this much but it didn't work out for me perhaps it does for some other toppers i don't know but for me this tactical approach every week approach was what was working for me that week what is what was my mindset but i also knew that i have to attempt a minimum number of mock tests for prelims say 50 like that i set a number in my mind so suppose i start from december for prelims so within the next 4 or 5 months that we have a prelims i knew that i'll attempt 50 tests no matter what so like i said if one week tactically i am not feeling good that week i take lesser number of tests and i eventually i compensate but i ensure that i reach that number so that's how it worked for me uh otherwise i think the challenges are mainly mental and psychological self. so uh, this preparation journey is as much about syllabus as it is about this mental game because some people tell that this the exam is deliberately designed in such a way that it tests your patience because civil service is one of the most stressful jobs perhaps in over the world itself so once you are through the process and you know how to handle your emotions i think you can manage anything it definitely prepares you and worst case scenario even if you don't clear the exam you go on to succeed in other parts of life you will definitely be a well rounded personality a very emotionally intelligent personality so emotional intelligence very very key skill that is there i think the mental part will be taken care of